Hello. Um, <clears throat> my name is Miracle, and hmm. my name is Miracle, and this is a Kalingo class. Um, Kalingo offers English instruction services to individuals from around the globe who want to learn English. That could be anything from English grammar, sometimes vocabulary, um, pronunciation, maybe you want to practice your conversational skills. Um, and if you are interested in that sort of service, simply go to the website and visit www.colingo.com. Okay, colingo.com. Please, if you are watching this, um, if you're watching this video, I'm trying to, did this class post? I think it did. Let me see. Okay, give me just a second. Make sure. Uh. All right. So um, if you are interested in the services, please, please, please do not send me messages on Facebook or Google or YouTube. Please don't do that. I'm not able to respond to those messages. So um, if you are interested, simply go to the website www.colingo.com. Okay, let me make sure. I'm asking someone to look at the class. I can't tell if it's posted. Okay, let's see. I think it's okay. I think it's doing well. Okay. All right, so today's class is about unbelievable examples of animal hand art. Animal hand art. Okay, it sounds a little weird because you think, are you making art out of animals' hands? No, that's not what we are doing. We are taking human hands and we are making art out of it. It's really interesting. So, let's do this. There we go. Let me get the link for you. And the reason that we use something like this for the classes is because you get to really practice your English. You get to, you know, um, uh, you get to use your vocabulary words, you get to interact with other students when they are here. There's no one here right now, so you would only be interacting with the teacher. Uh, here we go. There we go. Okay, so 25 examples of animal hand art. There's the link. All right. 25, let me go to share my screen with you. 25 
unbelievable examples of animal hand art. These may be, that should not be one word, these may be familiar to you since you may have seen them gracing those creative ads of a telecommunications company. Though they may look like actual paintings of animals at first glance, Guido Danieli was able to cleverly turn these hands, yes, they are hands, into canvases that would mimic animals. If you look closely, the artist made good use of the texture of the hand as it becomes the texture of the elephant's hand. Indeed, it's imagination and creativity at its finest. Who would think these 25 unbelievable examples of animal hand art would come off, whoops, would come off as awe-inspiring and intellectually stimulating as well? Look at that! Look at that. Okay, so we are going to talk about these, or I'm going to talk about these since no one is here. I will use my vocabulary words and talk about these. So what we have here is, and this is the, the basic setup for all of these. We have the hand, and then this is actually an arm. If you don't know what you're looking at, this part is the arm, and then this part is the, the wrist, and then the hand and the fingers. So, in case you don't know the parts of the arm, let's go over that again. This is the arm. This section here is the wrist, W-R-I-S-T. I hope you can see my mouse. It's the wrist. And then, uh, this is the actual hand. This is the top of the hand. These are the fingers. This is the thumb. Okay, let's talk about the parts of the animal that we are seeing. Okay, so we will be using vocabulary words, body parts, and just words to describe what we are looking at, basically. Okay, so we have the eye here with the eye lid, the part above the eye. I hope you guys can see. These little black marks, the circles, we call them spots. So this is not just a regular dog. This is actually a Dalmatian. This is a Dalmatian. It has Dalmatian spots. Okay. We see the thumb right here that has spots. This is the dog's ear. And the first finger is the forefinger. That middle finger, the one after it is the middle. On the other side, you have the ring finger. And then on the other side of that, you have the pinky. Okay. Look at this. This is a goose. This is, no, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This is a swan. This is a swan. Okay, again, we have the arm, the wrist, the hand, whoops, the hand and fingers, hand and fingers, and we have the eye that is painted on the inside of the well, it's in between the thumb and the forefinger. In between the thumb and the forefinger. Okay. This is the forefinger here, this long finger, that is helping to serve as the bird's beak. That is the forefinger. Under that is the thumb. Next to that, again, you have the middle finger and the ring finger and the uh, pinky. Very nice. The colors here, we have the entire arm painted in white. We have the beak, which is orange, 
and then the, the, the dark black tracing around the beaks, uh, around the swan's beak. Really beautiful. Look at that! Shut up, this guy's incredible. This is incredible. Okay, this is a, uh, I think it's a parrot. I think it's a parrot. Okay, first of all, the first thing that you notice is all the colors. Absolutely gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So the colors, that's the first thing that you notice. Again, this is the arm, the wrist, the hand, and the top of the fingers. Okay, there's the thumb. And then he painted the colors and contoured or made the, the parrot um, parakeet. Is this a parrot or a parakeet? Parrot. Parakeet. I think it's a parakeet. Whatever. This big bird, um, he, he put the many colors on it. Did a beautiful job with the details. And you can see how the forefinger becomes the beak. That is so interesting. Especially the way that he made the thumb. Uh, a part of the thumb actually was blackened out to look like the inside of the mouth. Extremely talented. This is pretty phenomenal. <gasps> look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. That is incredible. So we can see what they were talking about when they said the texture of the hand. Because this is a man's hand. And like the texture of his hand makes the, you know, the the animal look a little rougher, more masculine. Wow. Wow. Okay, so this is a, is this is a tiger, lion. For some reason, I can't it has spot. It's not a leopard. Is it a leopard? Is this a leopard? I honestly don't know. Leopard has spots. I think this is a leopard. Okay, we have the um, the arm down here, the wrist right here, followed by the hand and the fingers. Okay, and the. Th the thing that stands out about this one is the, well, all of them have, have tons of detail. All of them do. But this one, I think the details are a little different. They are much more intricate. I like the contrast of the colors. Where well, you have the white and the black and orange and black and yellow and black. and It's just beautiful. And then bl the black and white. It's just beautiful. He did a great job with this. Now this, I don't know what this is. I've seen this kind of bird before, and I never understood what it had on its face. So I've seen this before, but I don't know what kind of bird this is. No idea. Um, but we do know it's beautiful. We look at the color and the texture. The beak, again, is made out of... Now we can see we can see some um, patterns here. The beak seems to always be made out of um, the beak always seems to be made out of the forefinger and the thumb. That seems to be his pattern. Whoops. The use of colors here. Let me open my door. The use of colors here is quite nice. He's got a lot of contrast, especially with the beautiful red or pinkish kind of color there, or maybe a salmon color. 
and the black and the sorry I'm trying to get situated over here the black and the, the body and the body of the animal and you've got that white streak going back the eye is black but that beak I think is probably the most interesting this is the animal that looks like it has like a worm coming out of its forehead you know like maybe the brains are sitting on top of the forehead or something beautiful animal beautiful look at that oh my god how do they do that that's insanely awesome wow that is incredible that's incredible whoops I hear someone hi Rafael how are you hello teacher how are you I'm wonderful how are you uh, fine uh, just finishing my work I have I have had dinner and I joined to your class. It's amazing. Nobody is in the class. What happened? Oh, well, when Kalingo started charging money for classes, hmm. uh, the class dynamic changed. We don't have nearly as many students. So sometimes I'm teaching myself. <laughs> Today, I'm learning about hand art. Yeah. <laughs> I hand art. Oh my gosh! Isn't that incredible? Beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. It's like well, a zebra, perfect. Yeah, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, I mm -hmm. chose this because I've learned that you guys are able to practice your vocabulary with pictures. Mm -hmm. Pictures help you to express yourself because oh. it is a still image, and you get to use your vocabulary. Look at the picture. Take your time. So that's why I chose pictures for this class. Mm -hmm. So very nice. Why don't there? There's mm -hmm. nothing to read here. This is all about you using mm -hmm. your vocabulary. Perfect. Oh. Uh huh. So what animal is this? This is. Uh, it looks like a zebra, but it it is really it is not a zebra, as I can see. It's a hand with a, um, a brow of perfect zebra. Very nice. These are all hands. Look at this. This is all oh, hand art. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are all hands. Oh, oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. Who 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 does who who Who's the artist? Who does, Who's the artist? Guido mm. Daniele. Mm. I'm not sure where he's from. Guido is an Italian name. Mm. Look at that. These are all hands. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So mm. this, what animal is it represented on the hand, painted on the hand? Mm. Beautiful. Uh -huh. How, how um, he... How does he did? We don't With, know. Um, I, uh. We don't know. Uh, <laughs> but what I want you to do is describe the picture for me. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es esto? What animal is this? Mm, yeah. This is like a zebra. A zebra. What are you okay. saying? Ah, zebra. Zebra, no? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, zebra. Mm. The Z is z, not Zebra, not s, uh, but z. Z zebra, zebra. Z zebra, zebra. There you go. Very good. Zebra, 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 zebra. Make sure you don't say zebra. It's not zebra. It's z, z, z. z, mm -hmm. z zebra. Excellent. All right. So let's go over the anatomy or the body part. This is the arm. Can you see my mouse? Mm -hmm. This is the arm. Mm -hmm. This section right here is called the wrist. The wrist. W-R-I-S-T. Mm -hmm. Wrist. 
wrist. Yes. This is the inside of the hand. We call mm -hmm. it the palm. The palm. Yes. Let me type these for you. So we have arm, wrist, mm -hmm. hand, fingers, palm, There you go. Mm -hmm. Arm, wrist, uh -huh. hand, fingers. The palm is going to be the inside of the hand. Mm -hmm. Palm. And then this is the back side or the outside of the hand. Mm. Okay. So, what do you see painted on the palm of the hand? On the palm of the hand, I can see the eye of the zebra and also the mouth of the zebra and the nose. Okay. It is on the palm of the hand. Exactly. So you see the zebra's eye, the mouth and the nose painted on the palm or the inside of the hand. Um, technically or realistically, this is the palm. Mm. These are the fingers. Ah, uh, yeah, correct. So palm. Right, perfect. Okay. And what do you call these black lines? What do we call those? Mm, I don't know lines, but I don't know mm -hmm. exactly. It's okay. Mm. We call them stripes. A strips. Ah. Mm, no, 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 no. Not strips. Stripes. Stripes. Yes, and uh, tenga cuidado. When you have mm. the letter S, don't mm. add the letter E in front of it. Mm -hmm. A store, a step, a stripes. No. Son incorrectos. Those are incorrect. Mm. Just mm. the S. Stripes. Stripes. Very good. Stripes. Mm -hmm. Stripes. Mm -hmm. So the black lines are stripes. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. Stripes. What do you call this? This is the thumb. That big finger there, it's called the thumb. Can you see the detail? What is this on the thumb? What did he paint here? Uh, in the thumb, I think it looks like the ear of the zebra. Yes, looks like the ear, and he put a, a lot, oh, don't forget, thumb, uh, the B is silent. The B, thumb. thumb. No, no thumb, just yeah. thumb. Thumb. Yes, the B is silent, we don't Perfect. pronounce it. Thank you. It looks like hair, <laughs> it looks like hair from the donkey's mm. ear, mm. painted there. Mm. Thumb. Thumb. Forefinger. Forefinger. Middle finger. Middle finger. Ring finger. Ring finger. Pinky finger. Pinky. <laughs> Pinky finger. Mm -hmm. uh, now, we usually just say thumb and we say pinky. Pinky. Pinky finger. No, Ring. we usually pinky. just say pinky. We don't say pinky finger, actually. Ah, pinky. Mm -hmm. Pinky, ring thing, finger. Good. Oh, uh, middle thing, finger. Good. And the first one, I didn't remember. I couldn't remember. Four finger. Four finger. Four, when we spell it, let me show you. We spell it this way. 
Four finger, four means at the front. Mm, four finger mm -hmm. at the front. Perfect. Okay, Thank let's go to much. the next one. Mm. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. It's an owl. 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 Very owl. good. Yes. Owl. Owl, 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 owl. When you see owl like that, it's usually going to be owl, like pow, cow, sow, how, bow. How, cow, now, so, pow, so. pow, pow. Mm. So. so is actually like this. I don't know why, mm. <laughs> but that's how we spell so. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Ow. Owl. Owl. Mm -hmm. This and one. also is drawing in on the hand. Why? Is this is a hand? Yes. Oh, what difficult is to do it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is very mm. difficult. Mm. Very difficult. Mm. So these are the two fingers. Mm. I'm not sure how he got the ears up there. These mm -hmm. are the two fingers in the middle. Mm -hmm. This is the back of the hand. Mm -hmm. This is the wrist. And down here is the arm. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> difficult, in, in my opinion, for two things. One of them, because you need to, to round on your hand. And the second, and not least, important is to uh, stay with the hand in the same position, always, all the time, it could be very mm. dangerous for your fingers. Yes, that's true. Definitely true. The attention to detail is pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. It looks like real. Yes, it looks very realistic. Mm -hmm. It looks very realistic. It looks very realistic. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm. Say pink flamingo. Pink flamingo. Mm -hmm. Can you describe this one for me? Tell me what we are looking yeah. at. Mm -hmm. Hello? Rafael? Rafael? Hello? The, of the... Rafael? Mall. Oh, hello? Yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? No, yeah, I, I can't. can't. You. Oh. you were out for a long time. I did not hear you. I didn't hear anything you said. Oh my gosh. I don't know yeah. what happened. Right now, okay. could you hear me? Now I can't. Can you yes. hear me? Yes. Uh, sorry. Can I don't you, know what happened. Can you start over? Mechanism. Describe it for me. Perfect. In, in the arm, I can see the, um, the throws. The flamingo's throat um, in a very nice red color. In the thumb, I can see the um, the down side of the mouth, and in the um, in the palm, I can see the eyes, the eye of the flamingo. Now remember, the palm is the inside of the hand. Uh, yeah, you are right. So we could say the back side on the back side. On the back side of the hand, I can see the nice 
eyes and with um, surrounding a nice white color and in the forefinger and the middle finger are the nose a pico no I don't know what I say pico the um, of the flamingo in a dark mm. brown color very um, nice. Mm. Well, dark brown, but also it moves into the blackish color for the beak. Beak. Let me. Yeah, let me spell that for you. Beak. A beak. Beak. Mm. Beak. Hmm. beak. 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 And also, all mm, everything okay. is surrounded by. Feathers, 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 red feathers. Could be. What feathers? Feathers. Feathers is correct, but I don't know what kind of feathers you said. Fat feathers? Red feathers. Red feathers, rojo. Rojo. Ah, uh, red. Rojo. Yes, red feathers. Red feathers. Red feathers. Right. Red Red feathers. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay. Is there anything else? Mm. No. Uh, in the back side of the hand, on the top, I can see the um, the hat, the flamingo, with also with red feathers mm -hmm. um, very nice and it looks very realistic yes it does look realistic definitely definitely <laughs> could you repeat because I can say pronounce, pronounce definitely 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 Definitely, definitely, definitely. 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 Uh, definitely. Definitely. Not defi. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Very good. Very good. It's very important that you know Spanish language and other languages, as you said, because you can correct us better, because we. When we talk, we pronounce the I like e in Spanish, and mm -hmm. it's very useful for us that you know so much language. Mm. language. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Mm. Muchas gracias. No, 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 no. <laughs> Definitely. Oh! Definitely. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what is this called? It's called a horse. No. Well, no, is it? Uh, it is a horse. A mule. A mule or a donkey? Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's what it looks more like. Yeah, it looks more like a mule. Like a mule. It, yeah, very good. You know your your English words. Mm. That's excellent. Mm. Thank you. Hmm. Mm -hmm. But I can see in the thumb in the thumb I can see the earth, the mule's ear and in the in the middle of the forefinger and the ring finger I can see the eyes of the mule. Mule's eyes. I singular. I, I um, in the pinky mm. between the pinky and the middle ring finger. I can see the mouth. Right. The, the mule's mouth, and in the in the wrist, I can see the hair. The beginning of the hair of the mule, and later in the arm, I can see the neck of the mule. 
in a very nice white color with dark with black lines mm -hmm. and also perhaps could I say stripes too or it's not to stripes in the oh. in the arm we would say that actually looks like locks of hair mm -hmm. yeah Locks of hair, or actually, we call this the um, yeah, the mane, the mane. Oh. So we would oh. say the the donkey's mane. That's what we would call it. Mm -hmm. A lock of hair is just a section of hair. That's all. Mm -hmm. The donkey, the I think mules, mule. mm -hmm. ma mules, ne mane, mules mane. In white, I can see the locks of her. Uh, we don't know if the, the horse is he or she, so we can say we would know it's. Uh, we can see it's locks or it's mane. Locks. Mane is actually better. Mm -hmm. Perfect. The mane. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's try the next one. Ha 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 ha! That's awesome. What is this? Uh oh, I don't hear you again. Oh, eh, I was mute. I, I I don't know exactly what this is, but it looks like a crocodile or um, crocodile. Crocodile, crocodile, or something like that. I don't know. There is another kind of crocodile, but I don't remember the name. Uh, we have alligator. Alligator, alligator. <laughs> yeah, mm. it's similar. Yes. Could be, or it's, or is it a snake? Um. Well, you see the bottom of the mouth. Yeah, in the thumb, in the th in the thumb, I can see the bottom of the mouth. Oh, the bottom it? of the mouth. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Very good. And, and the top of the, in the top of the mouth, I can see in the forefinger, and later the nose, another part of the, of the head in the middle finger. And in the top, in the beginning of the ring finger, I can see a perfect eyes, eye, crocodile's eyes. Um, in the back side of the hand, <coughs> on, on. In the back side of the arm, of, of the hand, I can see the skin of the crocodile in the crystal. On the crystal, I can see also the skin of the of the crocodile, and in and finally in the arm is also the crocodile's skin in a perfect design, with beautiful points and very amazing colors. And it looks like like are uh, very realistic. Nice, very good use of your English vocabulary words. Very good. You did, did the scales. Mm. Scales. Mhm. Mm scales, schemes. Scales. Scales, scales. Yes. Without the, without the scales, scales. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Is there anything to add about this, this one? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Going through my head. Remember arm. I think arm. Wrist. Wrist. And fingers. Fingers. Okay. And what were you going to say? Uh, I think 
in the back, in the bottom of the mouth, he he tried to hint the the nail, the nails of the tomb, the nails of the tomb to hide. Oh, I see it. He tried. Oh, he's I see trying it. to hide the nails of the tomb. Yes. Nails tomb. Very good. Okay, let's go on to. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh dear God. precioso, beautiful. Mm. Okay, can In you this... tell us about this one? Yeah. In this picture, we can see the um, the giraffe. Um, I don't know exactly what it's made, but it looks like in the thumb there is uh, the the right ear, and in another finger could be the pinky. Right. There is the 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 other ear. In the middle, with two fingers, we can see in brown colors the corns, little corns of the giraffe, and in the both, perhaps in the back side of the hand, uh -huh. we can see the eyes and also the nose of the giraffe. Also the mouth and a beautiful with beautiful colors, mm -hmm. the um, the dots of the um, skin of the giraffe, and um, also in the end of the back hand of the hand, the, there are little hairs surrounding the mouth. Huh. Uh, in the wrist, we can see the throat and the neck of the giraffe, and in the arm, we can see the prolongation of the throat of the giraffe because it's so long, with beautiful colors of the skin in brown colors, and also could be the mane of the of the giraffe. Nice. Giraffe. Make sure you get that j sound, not giraffe. 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 Right. Is there anything else? Look at the color of the eyes. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's like a blue. We would say maybe aqua blue. Blue. Yeah. Yeah, aqua means like the color of the ocean or the color of water. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. And also you can see the bright of the eyes, of the eyes, and I don't know the name. You don't know the name yes. of what? The taps. Oh, uh, could be very the good. Taps. Yeah, the tops of the eye, we would say eyelashes. Yeah. That's the hair. Eye oh, you know what? That's hair, too. Here, let me just show you. Eyelashes. Eyelashes, hair there. Mm, uh, yeah. Eyebrows. Eyebrows, eyelashes. Yes. Mm. Okay. Eyebrows, eye, eye, eye. Eyelashes. eyelashes and the other one is eyebrows eye eyebrows 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 eyelashes eyelashes eyebrows beautiful eyelashes perfect okay anything else on this one mm. Also, perhaps in the ears of the giraffe, we can say we can see stripes or the 
the shadows of the of the earth. I don't know what is it. Shadows of the shadows, little shadows in brown color in the earth. Shadow? You mean like here? In the air. Oh, in the, in the ear. The ear, ear, in the ear. ear. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, when you say ear. air, I'm looking around here. No. <laughs> because that's, I'm thinking you mean like, oh, you oh, know, yeah. air. Yeah. Yeah. So, ear, yes, you call those. Ear. Uh, ear. Mm -hmm. mm. Very nice. Mm. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Again, we have the arm. We have the wrist. Mm -hmm. We come up here around the back. You can't see it, but it's called the hand. Mm -hmm. And this is the back of the hand right here, outside. Mm -hmm. And sewing. So all together, you get this beautiful image. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, and you know what? You can call this, uh, these little brown circles, you can call this a pattern. You can also call this a pattern. Pattern. we got many brown circles. Pattern. 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 Mm-hmm. Pattern. Think. What was that? With T. Pattern. With T? Pairing. Could you oh, I'm out? sorry. You typed it. Yes, I'm sorry. Two T's. There no. you go. Oh, T. Yes, I'm sorry. So you're mm. trying to say with one T? Yes. Mm. Uh, no, with two T's. Two T's. Pairing. Yes, exactly. Mm. Okay. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> it's very talented. Yeah, very nice. It's a perfect design. Yeah. Perfect drawing. Wow. Okay. In this one, we can see an elephant uh -huh. sit down on the floor with a very, very long thump. Yes. Mm, and um, also colmillos, colmillos. The Marfield teeth, I don't know the name. The what? The Marfield teeth. The teeth. Oh, of the, the. Wait. Okay, okay, you're trying to say teeth, but what kind of teeth are you saying? The Marvel? Marfield teeth. We I call this a name. tusk. Are you saying, are you trying to say marble? Marble? No, it's going to be marble. ivory. Ivory, ivory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ivory. Oh my ivory God. tusks. Ivory, ivory, ivory. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Ivory tusk. Ivory tusk. Tusks. Tusk. Tusks. 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 So here, you have the T U S K. Tusk. Tusk. Now add an S to the end. Tusks. Tux. Uh, it's a little tricky. <laughs> so what color do we have here? I think it's at uh, 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 the background of the brown. This is a very nice green color. Mm -hmm. um, the elephant is brown, also in green color, like the fur or like the skin, similar to the skin of the elephant. Right. So we can call that, when you're talking about the way skin looks or feels, we can say the texture. The texture. Text like this. Texture. Texture. Very good. Texture. Yeah. Perfect. 
and in the thumb we can see the big leg of the elephant. Right. And in the forefinger we can see on the on the forefinger. Oh, Very good with that, by the way. On the form on the forefinger we can see the trump of the elephant. Good! You are very good. The and elephant's trunk. Excellent. The elephant's trunks. And also the ivory tux. Tusk. Tusks. Tux. No. Okay, do this no. for me. Us. Us. Usk. Usk. Tusk. Tusk. Tusks. Tusks. Nice. <laughs> oh, so difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Tusks. Yes, that's it. Um, that's beautiful. Look at that! Oh, what's, what's this? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh. That's insane! <laughs> <laughs> what's this? Oh! A dragon or a, or a snake? snake? I think we would say iguana. Iguana, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, iguana, iguana, iguana. Iguana. Give me just a second. Let me see if I can. <laughs> it's Hamoud's birthday. Yeah, I think it looks like an iguana, sort of. Mm-hmm. Sort of. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be an iguana. Ooh. Very weird looking creatures. Oh my word. Look at that! Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, oh fun. my gosh, that's a crazy! With iguana. Normally, <laughs> an iguana would eat the cat. I uh, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. That is very weird. Okay, so why don't you tell us about this one? Oh, I think <laughs> it's so difficult, but uh, <laughs> I want to try. <laughs> yes, you should try. It'll be good practice for you. Could be. I think in the the arm is the neck and the throat of the iguana's throat and Very iguana's good. neck. Uh -huh. And um, the, I I I understood. It's made with that with two hands. In the yes. The, with one hand is the neck and the um, and the head. Uh, Iwana's hat with one hand, and with the other hand, he made the the skin, the pink. No, I don't know what the name. Little fingers with the other with the fingers of the other hand. We are making another thing. I don't know the name. This um, well, I continue describing with one arm. He's, with one hand, he's made ah, He is holding. He's holding. Hmm. He is holding one hand inside of the other. Hmm. He's holding one hand inside of the other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful colors and the detail. Yeah. What is the texture? Whenever you're talking about a lizard or a snake, there's a word that we use for the texture. I don't know. Let me show you. 
plain. Oh, well, it's scaly. A scaly, a scaly. Like the skin is scaly. Mm. Oops. A scaly. Textura. Scaly. Textura en español. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Scaly. Yes. Mm. That means made of scales. Mm. Okay, let's see what these others are because we are running out of time. Hmm. That's a little oh. weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's a turkey. Ah, it's a turkey. Perfect. Yeah. Very Thanksgiving. Nice. Oh my what's gosh. That? What's that? I don't know. It's a snake, like a python. A snake, uh, yeah. That's a little weird though. That one looks sure. a little strange. This is more easy. <laughs> yeah, that was a little. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Uh, you should say this is easier, not easier. more easy. Uh, yeah. Easier. Easier. Uh, yeah. Wow. Mm. Wow. What are we? Uh, oh, do you, you see what? See the, oh my the God. Fingers. There are three sets oh. of hands. Look. There's yeah. a set of hands here. Mm -hmm. There are hands here. Mm -hmm. And then these are hands. Mm -hmm. There are three sets. Yeah. Three sets of hands. Set of hands. Let's see. Look at that! Uh -huh. mm, That's beautiful. On the inside, the, the other hand. Yes. That's crazy! That looks real! Oh my god! Oh, this is the more difficult. Yes! This, this is, is a set of hands, too. This is, um... Yes, but you know what? I think this is three different arms. This is an arm here. You see, that's a hand right there. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay, and then this is an arm. It's going around. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. Yes, and then this is an arm. Yeah. That's what crazy. amazing creativity. What amazing yes. creativity. Oh, this one is easier, but very nice. Yeah, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, a bowl. That's a little weird. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, it's a dolphin! <laughs> oh, and what is this finger here on the bottom? Uh, the forefinger. Yeah, I so think. the forefinger is on the bottom. Oh, is this the gosh. inside or the outside of the hand? Mm, yeah. Which, inside is, or outside? I think it's the... I don't know. This is, this is the back hand... Yes. The back side of the hand. The back side of the hand or the outside of the hand? The outside. Oh, that's oh, a little coral. interesting. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Interesting. Oh. Wow. Very nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. That was interesting. How cool was that? My Very goodness, cool. I loved it. <laughs> That was Very so nice. interesting. Thank you for joining me. The class is ending, and I need to Thank go set up my much. next class. It Perfect. was a lot of fun. Thank, Thank you for joining me. Thank Muchas you. Gracias. Muchas Hasta gracias. Luego. Buenas noches, Michael. Buenas noches. Bye-bye.